God allowed me to pick up this message that God wants to give you the desires of your heart. Have you ever thought about that? That God sincerely wants to give you the desires of your heart. Whatever they may be, how complicated it may be, God wants to give you that desire. Sometimes it's hard for us to identify what that desire is. Sometimes we look for clues. We look for answers. We look for just this sign from God to know what that desire is. But that desire is something that God has planted in your heart that causes you to want to chase after that desire. That desire is something that you wake up thinking about, that you go to bed thinking about, that you feel that may be impossible. God often gives us desires that makes us feel that they're impossible so that he can show us that it really is possible in him. I want you to understand that that desire that you want is gonna require you to be probably different than you've always been your entire life different from the decisions that you normally make different for allowing other people to take your pen and narrate your story different. It requires a different version of you to be able to spiritually match that desire. But how do you know though? How do you know when God is bringing your desire into your life? What is the clue that you look for to know that God is bringing your desire into your life? The one way that you'll know when God is bringing your desire into your life, it causes an eruption in your environment. Kind of makes me think about the children of Israel who were in bondage in Egypt for so many years before Moses was appointed to bring them out of that bondage into the promised land. Normally, it's the cries and the wailing cries, the moaning that we hear when our spirit is when our spirit is agitated and it's aggravated and it's fearful and it's in despair. It's those cries that happens that God can hear. He can hear your cries. It's an eruption, though, in your environment. Maybe things that used to be one way totally, it came undone. Maybe that one place that God had you place for your employer it's almost like a plague entered into that that area to get you to come on through the wilderness into your promise see god is consistent and he never changes just like the children of israel they didn't want to leave even the bondage and ill treatment that they have been in their entire lives but it was a desire to be free and to enter into that space that they often would pray for, like you. It's that desire that you have to be free, that desire that you have to finally have a person that you experience love with, a husband or wife. It's that desire for you to start that business. It's the desire for you to be healthy. It's just that desire for you to walk into the cloud of the unknown, knowing that God is there to pull you through that God is there to make that path that's covered in all types of water. God is there for you to put your faith down, to allow those waters to be pulled back for you to walk into your promise. You know that it is a desire that God is trying to give you today. You know because it's disruption in your life. Things are not going the way that they used to be. People are often challenging you. But it's that desire that is pulling you. That desire makes you nervous. It, it often makes you afraid to move forward. Yeah, that's how you know that God is pulling you into the sea of the unknown things. And when we can fully trust that God sincerely does have our back, when we can fully be 100% all in to this journey, when we can totally abandon the things that was familiar for so long that's not even a part of our story, but it's a mindset on a cellular level and a spiritual level that we have inherited from our ancestors that may have been treated ill, may have been dictated to, maybe didn't have the freedom that you're born into today. But for whatever reason, we want to stay back 
in that old mindset and live those same ways. Well, I just wanted to reach out today to let you know that God is saying that in order for you to receive the promise, in order for you to fulfill your desires, in order for you to embark on a new journey, you have to let the old identities, the old mindset, the fear, and even the chaos that you are accustomed to go to fully embrace walking into the sea of unknown, no one for show, that God is giving you the desires of your heart and that he always has your back. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe in you. Bye now.